See the cues in the news for something good for the very first time. He gives his tenants rent relief. He shared a post on Instagram which read, in respect of the alarming widespread of, widespread of coronavirus, we the Yusuf family have decided to cut off 30% of um, your annual rent for 2020. The 30% is equivalent to three months pay and it is solely agreed upon to cover up for the period of unproductiveness caused by this epidemic encouraging his tenants to stay indoor and adhere to all safety guidelines from the government. If I could get up and give him a... Yeah, uh, don't you get it. Like, I said it's an interesting yeah. twist of events. You, you know, we said, yes, we said it yesterday <laughs> when Netflix did the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, this is an individual. Now, that's a celebrity doing that's something. That's a big deal <clears throat> in oh, yeah, Nigeria. It is a big deal. 30%, which is equivalent to your three My months dear salary. Landlord. Hi. You know... You know, it might not even just be your landlord. It could be, it could be your employer. It could be... Mm. It, you know, don't you get no, it? No, this one I mean, is landlord. Okay, okay, landlord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Because I think um, the housing, the housing, is um, a big deal. Role big in deal. this particular period is in, is almost more important than than employees and employer yeah. relationship. I, I've seen a lot of companies in Nigeria, in Lagos, that have given their staffs fifty k, everyone fifty k minus their salary, just oh, to go right. and be able to stock up on their houses, and because all of them are going to be working from home, so buy internet, buy oh, wow. food and water and things like that. I've seen that. But I don't think that that even has the bigger as much effect as this as putting um, three months off your rent because at the end of the day we're all gonna run to homes mm -hmm. for safety. Yeah, this is and stay we, home. Stay home is what we're going to be preaching. Now we're not even preaching it as much. Yeah, I'm not trying to prophesy negatively, but we'll get to a point where we really have to stay home. There has to be a place it's that we can. Inevitable. There has to be a place where we can go to and without having the fear of you know like being ex executed or having like this debt that you can't pay because you're you're. Coming from home, I mean, I th even a blind person can see now that we're going into a recession. So any financial support that we can all give each other yeah. will be great, especially yeah, for people who should come to play. Yeah, especially for people who have. Um, I mean, for him to do that, obviously, is privilege, and we have to acknowledge that. But I feel like if you have a lot of money in your account right now, this is the this is the one time where you need to bring it out and share it amongst people because there's nothing you're gonna do with your money for the next God knows when. At least for this year, nobody is buying holes, nobody's renting, nobody is having a cruise, nobody's traveling. So there's, there is a lot of um, disposable income that I feel like people, we've already started seeing that abroad, like people are coming out, buying hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers feeding the old. That's where we really need to start to um, see more of that. So I hope that he has started this domino effect and that people catch on to it. I hope that people I, catch I on hope to so it too, as well. Because <clears throat> to be honest, 30%, 30 of your of your of the rent, which you say is like your three month salary, financial expert will tell you if you're, if you're a monthly earner, that you're not supposed to expend more than three months of your salary on the rent or wherever you're living. And so he's done, this is something huge, Very you know. Huge. And coming from CDQ, yes, as much as I don't believe, um, he's kind of privileged. But there are many people who are more privileged than he is. Definitely. <clears throat> I don't think their mind ever went to this. So that's to let you know someone who's thinking and trying to make his only little difference in his little corner. And I think I'm seeing what this is finally doing to the entire world. It's, it's making us realize how human we are regardless of our, our creed, our beliefs, our status. Um, and amazingly, I hate to go down this road. For those confirmed, most of the confirmed cases we have in Nigeria right now, uh, so much the, the elitists, those mm. who are the ones who have traveled recently. Mm -hmm. you know, so it doesn't respect creed, um, status. So at this point, we, we all share the same humanity. And it's time for you to look out for, especially the elderly ones, your loved ones. You know, anybody try to play this down in any way, in any form you're trying to do it, I'll just, I'll be mad at you, you know. And my mind keeps going back. I shouldn't say it again. Just really just fellas. I mean, I mean, what, what God are they serving? I don't even understand it. I feel like it's deeper than that. I feel like Nigerians, I'm just not grasping the idea of it. I mean, it's not, it's understandable. I'm not, I'm not trying to give an excuse for it, but we are smitened with um, illiteracy. Um, and the, the biggest problem that we have in relation to coron coronavirus is that we don't trust our government. And that is the problem. So anything that comes out from the mouth like of the, the government host, yeah. is, 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 is like a host because we've had too many of that. And it's like the boy that cried wolf. We've cried wolf so, so many, many times. times that when it's our time to actually take this thing seriously. And then also because usually it's always the other way around where it comes from Africa first. I think that people have also whitewashed this, this disease that ah, it's a or in what people man, thing, or, and it's no a, yeah, charge. and it's not affect black people. So um, until faces like no, I, I, this is so insensitive. But until faces that we know, like um, Abu Bakr's son, yeah. or a face that we know that we can see, until that starts to happen, um, we won't really get to a point where people are taking 
their um, it's happening. social exactly. distancing and, and Guys, no, no matter what you believe, whatever your, your prejudices are, your, your, um, your subjectivity about coronavirus, just know it is not a hoax. It, it is, is real. It is real. It's I real. wish it was a hoax. Yeah. yeah.